Welcome to the Medicare Supplement Seminar. To get the most from this seminar, you should first watch the Turning 65 Medicare Educational Seminar, which is also located on this website. The Turning 65 Medicare Educational Seminar details both the basics of Medicare and the types of Medicare health plans available to you. This Medicare Supplement Seminar only briefly reviews Medicare and then goes into an in-depth review of Medicare Supplement Plans. To get the most benefit from this seminar, you will need to have a good understanding of Medicare's benefits. Please use the Contact Me feature of this website to request help in answering your questions regarding Medicare Supplement Plans. You can also use Contact Me to request help in selecting a Medicare Supplement Plan that meets your healthcare needs. The basics of Medicare will be reviewed in the next few slides. Medicare supplement plans are designed to help cover Medicare's deductibles, coinsurance, and copayments, which are commonly referred to as GAPs in Medicare. Medicare gives letters to its types of health coverage benefits available to you. Part A is your hospital coverage, which includes inpatient services and skilled nursing facilities. Part B is your medical coverage, which includes doctor, lab, outpatient services, and supplies. Part C refers to the types of Medicare health plans, such as Medicare Advantage, Private Fee-for-Service, and Medicare Savings Account plans. These plans cover the Medicare benefits under Part A and Part B. Many of the Medicare Advantage plans also cover Part D prescription drug coverage. Medicare supplement plans are not covered under Part C, as they are insurance plans. Part D is your prescription drug coverage. Medicare supplement plans do not include Part D prescription drug coverage. If you select a Medicare supplement plan, you will need to also purchase a standalone Part D prescription drug plan. Part A Medicare benefits include hospital coverage for 90 days per benefit period, plus 60 lifetime reserve days of hospital coverage past 90 days, inpatient psychiatric care up to 190 lifetime days, Skilled nursing facility coverage, up to 100 days per benefit period, and only after three days of hospitalization. Home health care, not to be confused with custodial care. Home health care is medically prescribed home care by your doctor, for example, physical therapy in your home. Hospice care, which is end of life care. A benefit period begins the day you go into the hospital or skilled nursing facility. The benefit period ends when you have not received any inpatient hospital or skilled nursing facility care for 60 days in a row. If you go into a hospital or skilled nursing facility on day 61 or later, a new benefit period starts. You would be responsible for the inpatient hospital deductible for each new benefit period. There is no limit to the number of benefit periods. Benefit periods are not on a calendar year. At age 65, if you elect to join Medicare and subscribe to Part B of Medicare, your Part B premium is deducted from your Social Security check. If you have delayed taking Social Security, then you will mail your Part B premium to Social Security quarterly. If you fail to make your Part B monthly premium payments, Medicare will drop you from Part B coverage. If you delay signing up for Part B coverage at age 65 because you are covered by other credible health insurance, such as your employer's health insurance plan, when you do not elect to subscribe to Medicare Part B, you only have 63 days to sign up for Part B. If you do not sign up for Part B within the 63 days, you will have to wait for the Part B general enrollment, which is January to March, with a July 1st effective date. Also, there is a penalty for not signing up for Part B. For each 12-month period you delay enrollment in Medicare Part B, you will have to pay a 10% Part B premium penalty for as long as you are on Medicare. If you elect to have original Medicare as your health plan, you need to plan financially for Medicare's deductibles, coinsurance, and copayments. Medicare supplement plans can help pay for these added Medicare costs. Original Medicare does not cover you for travel outside the United States. Some Medicare supplement plans do have benefits for international emergency coverage. Medicare supplement plans pay your providers for benefits covered under the Medicare supplement plan. You do not have to deal with the issue of paying unpaid claims. 
Medicare supplement plans, or Medi-GAP plans, are not health plans, but insurance plans that pay for Medicare deductibles, coinsurance, and copayments. Medicare pays your providers first, then your supplement insurance pays your providers. Again, based on the Medicare supplement plan you select, the plan pays the gaps in the medical expenses that original Medicare does not pay. Based on the type of Medicare supplement plan, the plan reduces or eliminates your out-of-pocket Medicare expenses. Unlike required network plans, such as HMO plans, with Medicare and a Medicare supplement plan, you have the freedom to choose your own doctors, hospitals, and other healthcare providers, as long as these providers take Medicare assignment. Also, with a Medicare supplement plan, you will not have to worry about referrals, provider networks, or pre-authorization requirements. Selecting a Medicare supplement policy is usually based on the policy's price, the insurance company's customer service, reputation and experience, and the policy's value-added benefits. Once you have a Medicare supplement insurance policy, you are guaranteed the policy will renew each year, regardless of health issues or medical claims. Medicare supplement plans offered by all insurance companies are federally standardized. Each plan type is identical in the coverage for Medicare deductibles, coinsurance, and copayments. The only difference between plans are the value-added benefits the insurance companies may offer. Supplement insurance plans are lettered A through N. All insurance companies must offer Plan A, but may or may not offer all the other plans. Medicare Supplement Plan's coverage of Medicare's deductibles, coinsurance, and copayments vary from basic coverage to comprehensive coverage. Generally, the higher the lettered Medicare Supplement Plan, the more gaps of Medicare are covered. To be eligible to purchase a Medicare Supplement Policy, you must be enrolled in both Medicare Part A and Part B. You must reside in the state where the policy is approved for sale by the state's Department of Insurance. There are Medicare supplement policies for consumers who are under the age of 65 and have a Medicare disability. Each insurance company has its own guaranteed issue qualifiers. Some of the qualifiers are identical from company to company. When you first enroll into Medicare Part A and Part B at age 65, within the first six months, you are guaranteed to get a Medicare supplement policy regardless of health issues. Other events may qualify you to purchase a Medicare supplement policy with a guarantee issue. The loss or decrease of your Medicare Advantage coverage due to the Medicare Advantage plan leaving the Medicare program or you moving out of the plan's service area. There is an involuntary loss of your employer or union-sponsored health care coverage. California has a guarantee issue program referred to as the birthday rule. Within 30 days from the date of your birthday, you can switch from one insurance company's Medicare supplement policy to another of the same or lesser coverage with guarantee issue. If you retire from a company and you were covered under their group health coverage, you have up to 63 days to apply for a Medicare supplement policy to get guarantee issue. The premiums for each Medicare supplement policy vary by insurance company based on several qualifiers, such as age rated, the premium is based on the age of the consumer when they buy the policy. Premiums are lower for those who purchase a policy at a younger age. Premiums may go up due to inflation and other factors. Tobacco. There are premium discounts for non-tobacco users. Early enrollment discounts. When first eligible for Medicare, those who enroll at age 65 pay a lower premium than those who enroll in Medicare at a later age and purchase a Medicare supplement policy. Medicare providers who accept Medicare assignment cannot charge more than the Medicare-approved amount. However, providers who do not accept Medicare assignment may charge up to 15% above the Medicare-approved amount. These excess charges are referred to as Part B excess charges. Most Medicare supplement insurance policies pay for the basic out-of-pocket Medicare expenses. Medicare Part A hospital deductible. Medicare's hospital coinsurance. Part B coinsurance, 20% of the Medicare approved expense. 
Before selecting and purchasing a Medicare supplement plan, you must determine your needs. Do your current healthcare providers accept Medicare assignment? Can you financially afford not only the premiums for your Medicare supplement plan, but can you afford the Medicare deductibles, coinsurance, and copayments if the Medicare supplement plan you selected does not cover these expenses? What are the value-added benefits of your Medicare supplement plan, and do they meet your needs, such as dental, vision, and travel coverage? In 2010, as a result of the Medicare Modernization Act, Medicare Supplement Insurance standardized plans and benefits were updated. A few Medicare Supplement plans were terminated. New Medicare Supplement plans, plans M and N, were added. All Medicare Supplement plans added new basic benefits, including preventative care and hospice. Plans M and N are new Medicare Supplement plans with lower premiums, but with some cost-sharing features. Plan M has the same benefits as Plan D, except Plan M pays 50% of the Part A deductible, where Plan D pays 100% of the Part A deductible. Plan N also has the same benefits as Plan D, except Plan N has copayments of up to $20 for office visits and up to $50 emergency room. You will find that not all insurance companies offer both Plan M and Plan N. This chart outlines the Medicare Supplement Insurance Plans and their respective coverage of Medicare's deductibles, coinsurance, and copayments. As you can see from the chart, none of the plans cover Part D prescription drugs. If you want drug coverage with a Medicare Supplement Plan, you must also purchase a standalone prescription drug plan. Plan F covers 100% of all Medicare deductibles, coinsurance, and copayments. Plan F with a high deductible is available from some insurance companies. The high deductible Plan F is significantly lower in price than Plan F without a high deductible. Plans M and N with coinsurance and copayments are generally price competitive with other plans. Beginning in the latter half of 2010, preventive care and hospice care was added as a covered benefit by all the Medicare supplement plans. Value-added benefits are not included on the chart, as each insurance company has the latitude to provide these benefits on a plan basis. Before purchasing a Medicare supplement plan, check with the insurance company as to the value-added benefits available to you. When you join Medicare, besides original Medicare, you have the option to select a Medicare supplement plan or a Part C health plan such as a Medicare Advantage plan. Outlined are some key considerations in selecting the type of plan best for you. 1. A Medicare supplement plan has limited guaranteed issue options and availability may be based on your health history. A Medicare Advantage plan with prescription drug coverage, MAPD, is guaranteed issue except for end-stage renal disease. 2. With a supplement plan, you have direct access to specialists. While MAPD plans, you must select a PCP, get a referral for a specialist visit, and you must stay within the designated provider network. 3. Supplement plans have a monthly premium based on your age, plan selection, and your county of residence. Your monthly premium increases over time. MAPD plans have no or low premiums, which vary by county. 4. Supplement plans have copays based on plan selection, while MAPD plans have no or low copays, but the MAPD plans could have coinsurance for services such as radiation therapy. 5. For prescription drug coverage, with supplement plans, you must purchase a standalone prescription drug plan. With MAPD plans, prescription drug coverage is included in the plan. Copays for drugs vary by MAPD plan. Coverage in the gap or donut hole also vary by MAPD plan. 6. Generally, supplement plans have no or limited value-added services. For no or low premiums, MAPD plans do include value-added benefits such as wellness, fitness, dental, and vision. 7. If you travel outside the United States, 
For emergency coverage with supplement plans, you must purchase a plan with foreign travel coverage. With MAPD plans, urgent and emergency coverage is provided for foreign travel. Coverage limits vary by health plan. Medicare has excellent resources for information about Medicare. You can go to the Medicare website at www.medicare.gov or call Medicare at 1-800-MEDICARE. For help with Social Security, you can go online at www.ssa.gov or call Social Security at 1-800-772-1213. TTY users should call 1-800-325-0778. For questions about Medi-Cal, their website is www.medi-cal.ca.gov or call 1-800-541-5555. There is a secure, encrypted Contact Me feature on this website where you can get your questions answered about Medicare supplement plans. You can also request help in selecting a Medicare supplement plan that best meets your health care needs. Thank you for